Good morning. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit colder than the last video. I've got my Icelandic jogger on. It's a bit warm, warm now, but uh, lovely and warm and the heat is going. Alfie's inside, he won't come out. Um, today is just a little review on the Ollie Sparks um, Lie Angle um, Box Miter. Now, this is the one we got yesterday and was dying to try out. Um, I received it from Ollie. I think he's been about nine months in the making of it, and I don't care. It was worth every minute of the wait. It is beautiful. The iron goes in the back um, into the bed, which is at uh, a very low angle here. Got a feeling it's 19 degrees. Um, but don't quote me on that one. And um, the wedge is cut from the back of the coffin uh, shape. So this is an integral part of the um, of the actual plane. This this was that block of wood. Um, I don't know how he does that. I haven't got a clue, Ollie. I have no idea how you do it. It's got to be a cross between uh, magic, aliens, and the book of Eric von Daniken that I used to read when I was an, inf uh, an easily influenced youth. Um, anyway, that's enough talking. Uh, I thought I'd just um, play a piece of you. I'll show you what I've picked. I flattened it because I don't want to ruin the, the blade of this, but I flattened it off and it was a lot there was a lot of tear out on it. Uh, you not only got um, two different types of wood, reverse and grain direction, very common with you, um, and, a, and, a, and a bleeding great knot right there, which causes end grain. So I thought, well, there you go, that'll do, won't it? Can't handle that, you can't handle anything. <coughs> Um, there's pigeons on the roof, by the way, uh, seagulls or pigeons, uh, having fun. Uh, so just move my stool out of the way. Uh, I'll just um, take it gently and give you a rough idea, you can hardly hear it cutting, of how this um, produces very... <laughs> almost biologically um, uh, almost biological samples um, amazing and that was right across the, the knot you can just about oops, tighten up a bit uh, you can just about hear the difference between the long grain and the knot, but not much because it's just it's just ignoring it. It's just cutting straight through it. Um, I haven't even said it properly yet. I mean, I haven't played with it or um, tuned it. Let's go for that knot. But the key thing about it is, there's absolutely no tear out. It's this is just baby's bum stuff. Um, it's just as smooth as smooth can be. There is no, there is absolutely no tear out. This is, this is like it's been scraped um, right across the knot, opposite direction here, opposite direction there. <sighs> Amazing. So that's, that's really why this plane is so special because it's, um, it is an ultra low angle on a, on a well what is basically the size of a block plane and um, yeah, you would use it for end grain mostly um, let's try some straight it's actually ultra flat so at the moment I'm not getting because the wood isn't I'm not getting complete shavings but to give you a rough idea I'm now getting Lots of pretty fine shavings. That's actually getting almost iridescent now, the wood. Um, 
on the um, on the knot. This part of the grain here, I'm sure you can see that. This part of the grain here was reversing that way, and this is going upwards, and this is going that way. Yeah, you know, it's uh, that would be an impossible task. I would say probably even for a scraper. If you look at that, that's the finish with the plane, um, which you could you could just you could just bung um, some um, finish on that, some oil on that. That would come up lovely. But if I was to use a scraper on this, I'm already getting a little bit of tear out. And that's with a bird edge on a Clifton scraper. And of course you you know you're gonna get you're gonna get scratch marks and uh, yeah there's some tear out there. I can feel that's rough. Um, I mean, it's not. I mean, that's a bit anal, really. I mean, it's not. Uh, it's not tear out that I would be particularly bothered about. But this will come along and slice that off. Absolutely no problems at all. Let's get rid of all the dust from the thing, and then you're just left with shavings. And these are right across. Um, right across the end grain on the knot. So all in all, Ollie, um, masterpiece, mate. Not only is it artistically beautiful, technically, it is. Um, I don't know. It's, it's technically, it's uh, it's almost bordering on a. How do you do that? Impossibility. It is <laughs> amazing. It comes in its little box. Yeah, it's packing crate, I should think it's more accurate actually, because inside the um, packing crate, which you have to unscrew, as does any good freight company, you know, um, you have to unscrew the lid with his Ollie Sparks, comma, maker. You get a little note telling you how much of a corker it is. You get um, the um, ubiquitous um, anti corrosion paper which is wrapped around the um, the stonking iron I'll take that apart in a minute and then it's 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 packed in its own shavings well they're not his shavings I'm pretty sure his name's Spooks by the way because Spooks in the UK are the counterintelligence and intelligence agencies MI5 and MI6 that's what we call them Spooks and they they're always pretty tight mouthed that's why it's called Spook um, I don't really need a hammer for this, you see, because if I can give you, I'll put it in tight, sorry Ollie, um, that is the iron, this is the iron, uh, with the um, laser etched or stamped, I think, um, mark on it. Snack on the back, which is beautifully bevelled for knocking out your iron or adjusting your iron if um, if it's slightly out and you've you've gone over the top a little bit. Down inside, a very very beautifully cut throat through to the phosphor bronze sole with a, probably the smallest mouth I have ever seen on a plane. Seagulls. Um, and the wedge has been cut from the same piece of boxwood. This is the same piece of boxwood. So that is quite astounding. Um, it's just astounding. The, the sole is done in two halves. The, the toe and the rear are um, hermetically sealed together with a tongue and groove joint would you believe across there uh, Ollie did say to me that when he put it together the mouth was so small the iron wouldn't come out of it um, and he had to lap the sole to get any um, clearance at all um, that is such is the accuracy of of this plane so yep <clears throat> that's a conclusion I am absolutely astounded by this plane so if you want to get yourself a Christmas present 
the next 10 years. Um, go on to uh, Ollie's website, just Google Ollie, Oliver Sparks Plane Maker and you'll find it. He's got some. He's got a beautiful slipper block plane up there as well, um, which seems to be the the one that's going um, at the moment, and really, really being appreciated by. Uh, I know Richard Arnold's got one, uh, and another a, a, a couple of other people, um, but um, and he's also got um, uh, the one that we talked about together. Um, Norris um, adjuster type plane. Now, when I say Norris adjuster, um, I actually mean this Norris adjuster. This is a, we have a laugh about this. 57 York Street, where he was born, where he where he lived, Thomas Norris. So we reckon he was out in the garden shed, got an old block plane, sawed the end off, stuck a bit of iron on it. Gotcha, Norris Adjuster. Why he went any further and made that other one, um, I have no idea because this prototype um, of, a, of an iron bar basically shoved down on the bed is amazing. It's just shit. Oh, look, watch. You just you just hit it here because you can't hit it here because you've got a you've got a, a, a heel on the um, on the um, handle. But if you hit it there. What? How cool is that? It's just so clever. And it's, you know, as you can see, it's fitted into the bed. Um, somebody's been a little bit enthusiastic in the past, but who cares? I mean, it is a hundred and something years old. And um, I'd like to think that uh, Thomas was sitting there in his shed before he started making the iconic mark, making this little coffin plane. These two, the masters have made these. Um, this master here, I think he's better. I just really do. This is the um, way beyond the new Norris. Um, Ollie Sparks, gonna go a long way. Anyway, that's enough for this morning. Gotta go and have some coffee. Alfie's freezing and crying inside because the postman's on his way. So, that's it for another day. See you later.